What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Marvel edition of the Raging Nation show. This is just Webster's. We're talking about all things matter to me in the world of Marvel films. This is episode number 127. And the first thing I want to talk about is this badass Spider Man t shirt that I picked up at HMV. I had to show you guys that. I really like this shirt. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about the movies. So, let's talk about Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 finally has some good news because now we have a director. If you guys don't already know, original uh, Deadpool director Tim Miller left the project because of creative differences with Ryan Reynolds. Now they have a new director. And that is a director I'm really, really excited about. And that is David Leach. I hope that's how you pronounce his last name. It's Leach or Liech or... Anyways, I'm going to go with David Leach. And he's one of two directors that worked on John Wick. The other director is Shad Stahelski. And he's working on something else. So now we have David Leach. And I'm excited for his vision. Because John Wick was just awesome it was fantastic i love the visual style i love the direction for the film and having david leach bring his visual style into deadpool is just going to be so cool so i'm excited for that and it's good to know that this film ha finally has some sort of traction on it because i mean they lost the original director tim miller and then they lost junkie xl the composer and J junkie xl actually left because of tim miller so you know we're seeing a lot of bad news about this film but this is a huge piece of good news because it's moving forward and they have a great director behind the camera and it's 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 gonna be great anyways uh, speaking of Deadpool 2 they haven't made an official announcement as to when it's actually coming out but 20th Century Fox does have a number of locked in dates for their Marvel films and I'm gonna tell you about a couple of them first of all March 2nd 2018 that's a date that hasn't been announced officially as to what it's going to be. It's just an untitled um, a Fox Marvel film. But I'm pretty sure that it's going to be Deadpool 2. Mainly because, well, Deadpool 1, the first one, came out this year in February. And March 2nd, 2018, that's two years from that time. And it's, uh, you know, it's around that same time. And the only reason why I think that they didn't take uh, the middle of February spot is because there was another film that's already taken that spot. So I'm thinking that's possibly Deadpool 2. There's also June 29th, 2018, which could possibly be the new Mut Mutants film written and directed by Josh Boone. Uh, he did state that they were going to start filming uh, New Mutants, uh, possibly in spring of 2017. So that's a pretty... Um, it, it's a good bet to uh, believe that uh, New Mutants is actually going to take the June 29, 2018 uh, 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 release date. Now, 20th Century Fox actually just released, an, or rather announced, two new dates. They locked in two new dates, one for 2018, one for 2019. So the 2018 date is November 2nd, 2018, and it's... It could be that uh, that X Men film that uh, that Simon Kingberg was talking about. They want to bring back Michael Fassbender as Magneto, Jennifer Lawrence as as Mystique, and also um, James McAvoy back as Charles Xavier. So that could be that film. The other date is for 2019. It is on February 14th, 2019. What do you think that could be? I think it's pretty safe to say that it could be Deadpool 3. After all, they did announce that they wanted to make Deadpool into a trilogy before they get to X-Force. So, those are the two new dates that are happening. Uh, November 2nd, 2018. February 14th, 2019. It could possibly be the new X-Men film. Um, the, the soft reboot. And also, potentially, Deadpool 3. So, there you have it. Moving on, let's talk about the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Zendaya an actress who will be playing a key role in Spider-Man Homecoming insists she is not Mary Jane. She insists that she is not Mary Jane Watson. Now, there was a lot of controversy surrounding her casting because, well, she's not white. <laughs> and Mary Jane is white, so what is going on here? And, you know, the, the internet exploded and all that. Maybe she really isn't. Maybe she really isn't, or she's just putting out misinformation. But keep in mind this, Peter Parker didn't just have Mary Jane Watson and Gwen Stacy 
as his love interest. There were actually a number of love interests. Uh, for example, there was um, uh, there was Liz Allen. There was also uh, Betty Brandt. And don't forget Felicia Hardy. So... It could be any one of those characters. Uh, but... Uh, she insists that she's not Mary Jane. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised in a way at this point in time uh, because we've seen Mary Jane Watson. We've seen Gwen Stacy. It's time to introduce new characters, uh, you know, uh, in the, uh, the, the Amazing, the amazing Spider-Man films, they were almost about to introduce Gwen, uh, like Mary Jane Watson played by Shane Lee Wood Shailene Woodley, but they cut her out. So... Maybe they just felt that, you know, we've already seen Mary Jane, we're not going to include her at all. But the fact is, well, not the fact, but the rumor, or at least what she says is that she insists she's not Mary Jane. So uh, let's just go with that for now. And there's, uh, it opens up potential for her, for her to play another character, but she claims she is a key role. All right. And finally, last thing I want to talk about is an interview that uh, Kevin Feige did with, um, with uh, Variety. And he talked about the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and if there is a future with them um, crossing over with uh, 20th Century Fox's uh, mutants, the X-Men. He says that it's an impossibility. Not a possibility, an impossibility. So the opposite of, a, of the possibility. In other words, it's not happening. At least there are... are uh, no definite plans to make it happen for the time being. It hasn't even been discussed because it's not even an option. I know a lot of fans will be pretty angry about this because they do want to see the property handed over uh, back to Marvel, but it's not happening. And the reason why is because he says there's so many characters already right now. Uh, phase 4, or rather Phase 3, is introducing a lineup of a whole bunch of characters. Uh, phase 4 is going to be those characters and more. Like, more new characters. I mean, I know that we're seeing a, a lot of the... I mean, we've already seen a lot of the main characters in, in Phase 1 and Phase 2. Uh, but the fact is that Disney bought the entire Marvel library except for what Sony owns, uh, which is the Spider-Man universe and characters, and also what 20th Century Fox owns, which is X-Men and Mutants. They, they, they can't have anything to do with that. But there's still like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of characters, maybe some that are not as popular, but still, we can, we as fans can really learn to really like these characters. I mean, even if, if you're not a comic book fan, all right? So the fact is that they want to um, uh, introduce more characters from what they have in their existing library and bring it into phase three phase four, phase five, and so on. I mean, they have enough um, uh, content to just make, con keep on making these films for like tens and tens and tens of years to, to continue going on. You know what I'm saying? So th at this point, there's no real need for the studio as a business, um, a business action to um, take the, take the characters or have a deal with 20th Century Fox to take the characters back. You know what I'm saying? So... That's what's happening, and you know what? Uh, some people might um, not like me for this, this uh, for saying this, but I'm gonna have to agree with it. Let 20th Century Fox do their thing, and let uh, let Marvel do their thing. I know you know we'll never get a good Fantastic Four film, but I'm not concerned about that right now. I'm just co concerned about what what the Marvel Cinematic Universe plans to do with its current characters. So um, I, 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 I I'm excited to see what they have in store for us. And I'm excited also to see what 20th Century Fox plans to do at this point. I'm actually curious what their direction is for the franchise. So um, they're going to do their own things. The X-Men are never going to, to cross over with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's just the fact. Okay, Maybe in 30 years, but not anytime soon. Anyways, that's all I got to say in this episode. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more news on the Marvel front, hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Alex Yu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Backdrop, um, at, for, uh, the backdrop for some very, very unique style of action. Now, what they introduced to the story was 